Let's test drive time on a stock 1999 Chevy Camaro. This is a Z28 model with 30,000 miles. That's good mileage on a 1999 LS1. All the power options. She's super clean as it should be. Nice interior, easy test drive here. We're gonna be able to take it down the road, check it out. We're gonna see the undercarriage shots all lit up. And then at the end of the video, chip scratches, dents. If it's, if it's there, you're gonna know about it, guys. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Interior-wise, we're near perfect. The lid's solid. The dash is solid, it's not cracked up. The seats look wonderful. Got my bag full of goodies. You wanna see what I use? Look below in the description. Start it up, see so the gauge is coming up, showing 30,000 miles. So it's actually 30,415. That's not bad. Give it a second, all the gauges come up and start working. See the tack jumping up there. Lower motor. Give her a second. It's actually pretty warm outside today. Wipers, yeah, of course they work. Place your bets on the horn, which, I mean, it's got a big dead giveaway there. On the channel, we place bets on all the horns on these classic cars because it seems like 50 50, half of them don't work. Floor motor is doing good. It wasn't super cold though. It may need a charge. Uh, lock. We had to unlock the radio. I bet somebody had the battery unplugged for a, a while on this one, storing it, especially with 30,000 miles. Horn, of course it works. Let's hit the road in this one and see what else we can find. Go ahead and get my bag put together here. We're gonna take off down the road. You got a nice little towel down here in the floor. Trying to keep the dirt out. Cause this thing is near perfect. All right, it's gonna be an easy test drive too. I don't think the walk around is gonna be very extensive. I didn't really see anything on the outside, but if there is something you'll know about it, I look for chip scratches, rust dents. I check the, the suspension, how it reacts when I slam the brakes, what happens when I floor it. How's the steering? You know, I, I, I try to go over everything so you know what you're getting. Pretty good. Pretty straight, tight steering. Brakes feel clean, solid. Almost 50 pounds of oil pressure. 200 on the temp. Usually these run from 200 to 210. I actually had a guy years ago come back to Corvette from this bottle. Oh man, they were crazy. The temperature's too high, it's at 210. I said, that's normal. That's, cool. that's, that's what this is supposed to run at. They really didn't believe it, so I had to buy the car back. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> it's okay though. That was like maybe 10 years ago. You got some nice visors on these. Uh, on this car too. Most of these, actually, this corner is like a factory flaw. Just flops around. Now they don't come like that. They actually come stiff, but right out of factory, they're all flopping around. And I, it annoyed me so bad in high school that I used to take my visors completely off. Just get the tent strip. Yeah, 
may, may be wondering why I'm going this way. I got to stop up here by the store. We figured it was a good idea to go ahead. We might as well go the back way there. Got two or three more red lights before we get up to the store I was going to. So back way be a bit longer, but more enjoyable on the drive. I do that a lot. I always go the long route if it's a better drive. So this car here, you really don't have to give it much gas. It's up to speed, quick. These are actually pretty quick cars. They're underrated a lot of times. Well guys, we got another red light here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go and I'm gonna do the undercarriage shots next. I'm gonna get the outside shots and I'll be right back. Just a quick update on the AC. It's nice and cold now as I'm driving down the road. I still think it might need a recharge where it's been sitting, but it is working, so again. Okay, getting ready to take off here. Uh, I did have a little light pop on there and I checked it and it's still full, so it could just be a sensor or something. We're not overheating, um, but basically there's an overflow jug in there and it looked like it was just just under the hot level, but it was still plenty in there. So that's probably just telling you to top it off. I haven't seen any issues with this car. It actually runs and drives awesome and she's ready to go. 
Once we get back to the lot, I'll tell Pat he does all the fluids, or I'll just grab a jug myself and top her off. That way I know it got done. And I'd see the light kick off, that'd be nice. Picking out the flaws is coming up at the end of the video. <laughs> I seen a little spot in the bumper. To be honest with you, I seen a little spot in the bumper back there. It was some light cracks. And I had to zoom in on it to get it to pop up, but it was just from age, really. And it, that, those bumpers are plastic. With that being said, the car is beautiful. Under the hood's nice and clean. The dash isn't all beat up. The interior looks great. But you'll see, the walk around's very fast and swift. Both Camaros I ended up being pretty swift with because both of them were very clean that we have on the lot today. The other one, it had some chips in the front bumper from, you know, just driving. Don't do it. So you can't pull in that part, so I was worried it was gonna cut back over. Yeah, this one drives smooth. My wife actually pulled up and was like, was that one an automatic? And I was like, yeah, and she was like, oh. Because we was looking last summer, she was wanting a matching Camaro. She's trying to match me. Bump here, smooth. Guys, we'll shoot on down to Brian's Motorsports here. Uh, they've got my van right now. I'm gonna make a little sweet video about that once they get done, where I drop it off, have my audio created down there. They're building a custom box, uh, kind of a hideaway box in a, in a sense. There's Maple Motors. careful out here today there's cars every so many feet this guy's parked in the middle of the road <laughs> this is Brian's Motorsports they do classic cars uh, they do boats got old truck there old power wagon pulling a Yamaha boat that is beautiful looking around in the parking lot here you got the Raptor. He works on all this stuff every day and he's always customizing things. As you can see, a little bit of everything in the parking lot. Check him out, brian'smotorsports.com. He can get you hooked up with a lift kit, set of wheels, 454 SS truck there. He did my Camaro, my white one that I have that is in this model. I have some wheels powder coated and custom ordered to fit that way I'm different I don't have the same wheels as everybody else that's just what I do I pick out something different every time I don't even see my van so that means they're probably working on it which is great news very excited about that I'm getting him to, there was two 12s in there from Amazon or something and I just took them out and I told him I didn't trust the wiring and all that rewire it which I, I used to do audio like crazy, but I don't build boxes, so they do. And they're gonna throw two 12s in a shallow mount, down firing it into the back. And when I say van, I say conversion van, like a 2012 model with the TVs and the seats and all that for vacationing with the kids. And that, that's what I'm bringing up. He can custom make anything you want. I said, I wanted the storage. I don't even want it to look like there's a system in the back. And he said, okay. And he said he's going to make a box about that tall off the floor, covers the whole back. I can still lay the bed down in the back. They basically just custom made it to whatever I wanted. At a fair price, too, so it wasn't too bad. Check them out, brianesmotorsports.com. You can check out maplemotors.com to see all the new inventory that we list every Monday. And we're going to be gone this weekend, going to Rod Run, Pigeon Forge. So I've got this one and a Mike Carlo over there that I want to finish up today. And I'm going to start working on the following week. There's the other Camaro. Convertible. SS, too. This is the Z car. That's the SS convertible. I'm going to back her up in the spot here next to the 69 Camaro. Try not to take her out.
Guys, thank you. Figuring out the flaws. Coming up next. All right, let's walk this right. I've already got the hood popped, the trunk open, or a hatch. That's what that would be. It's going to be a pretty easy walk here. The worst part of the car would be the front end just because of chips and stuff from the road, but look at it. It's beautiful. Little bug guts there. Headlights look good. Down the side here. Tires, great shape. Nothing over your fender. Scratch here on the side. Tail lights, bumper, everything's nice and clean. This will come off. It's like some dirt. Dirt there, come off. Factory flaw, little bubbles would pop up here. Mine at the house got the same thing going on, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Because I'm going to keep my car, um, but I don't know. There's different ways to fix this. You could take it off, get them redone, and customize them the way you want. A little scratch there. But it is a factory flaw. Light spiderweb cracks in this bumper. They're really light. You can kind of see them there. While we're back here, we'll look around. Nice and clean. Seal looks good. I got some stuff at Dollar General. I got to take back to the car lot. It's got the covers for the T-tops. Sold new for $20,870. Oh wait, that's the price, but it actually sold for $24,761. She's coming on down. Shut's good. That's a big old wing there. Crack on top of the wing. Changes the whole look of the car, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can remove it if you didn't like it. Down this way. Spot there at the bottom. The only reason I'm moving so fast is because there's nothing there, guys. It's just. Nice pretty paint. Some videos I go real slow when I start seeing bubbles, cracks, chips. This tar, we got we gotta get that off. I have to send it to the back, have somebody take it off. Oh there's a crease here. I'd have to have that pulled out. It's from here to there. If it was my car, whoever buys it, there's a nice little crease there in the side. That is a dent. Yes. Little bubbles there. Same thing. Like it says, factory flawed. The paint always bubbles up and chips on these. Mine, actually a lot worse than this, but <laughs> I just haven't decided. And you can turn them back black, you can customize them. They got little camo things. They got literally everything if you research online. I'm waiting for uh, screaminchicken.com to come out with something. That I can just put on top of it or replace it with. And they probably got something. I haven't looked on, on there in a, a good year. But that's a good website if you haven't seen it.
It's perfect for these cars. Let's check out the interior. That was so easy to walk around. I'd be out of a job if they were all this nice. <laughs> Of course, this one's a lot newer than what we mess with normally. Still one of my favorite cars. They're affordable. They're fun. Cool. Some people don't like them. Little catfish Camaro is what they call them. <laughs> little piece there needs to be fixed. Honestly, a little Velcro. A little dry on the inside of the seat, but other than that, we're good. Don't have a key fob. There's no key fob. Surprising. Mileage went out. We put about four miles on this one. Might need to check and top off the antifreeze. It's not overheating or anything, but I do see the little light on there. Of course, this car hasn't really been driven, so it could be low. It's still on the stick. It's actually on full hot, so. It might just need a little bit more. So clean. Guys, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and share this video. That's going to help me out quite a bit. You can share this video on any platform you want. Um, check us out, maplemotors.com for finance and shipping detailed pictures. And of course, check the description for t-shirts while they last. Uh, after, basically, somebody got mad on here and they were like, that's a bad decision. No, we're having a baby, so I'm the only one that shipped these shirts out, me and my wife. And uh, it's getting ready to change a little bit. In fact, this is my third kid, so I'm going to do shirts again. I'm just going to wait three or four months until we can relax and ship these things out. And also, you can come into Maple Motors and pick up shirts. I'm just not going to be shipping them out. Because right now, we do good. We do great. We ship out five shirts a day almost. That's great. Well, I'm not going to have time to do all that once the baby's here. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to make a new design in the time being and I'm gonna come out with some hats so probably keep the retro design that's on the back of these shirts and change this front emblem on this one so you won't be able to get this shirt anymore change the colors and uh, just put out one new design for next year and a hat I think it's a good idea plus it's gonna help us out she's eight weeks till she's due very excited thanks again for watching guys some of y'all don't care about that last bit of information but those that do, thank you very much. I'm heading back to the lot to grab another car, to do another test drive, and I'm going to Rod Run this weekend, so I'll see y'all up there in Pigeon Forge. Later, guys.